Hey guys, I'm Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. I know that I've been vacant for forever. I have um, deleted everything from my channel because I decided that I wanted to start again. So if you're wondering why everything has disappeared, that is the reason why. I just felt like all of that content was like four or five years old and it's just not... It's not where I'm at now. Like that's not how I do my makeup and my hair or whatever anymore. Obviously I've moved forward in life. Um, in the space of four years so i just thought it was kind of pointless having that kind of stuff still on my channel um but yeah i hope you're all keeping safe and i hope that everyone's feeling okay given the current situation it's actually a really nice day today so i'm really happy because it's sunny outside i've just been shooting some work content and i'm going to go out a little bit later on when the sun gets a little bit lower um to shoot a little bit more I've basically invested in a lovely new vlog camera, which I'm really pleased with, that I'm filming on now. I might get myself a new microphone. Like, I've never actually had an external mic that I've clipped on, and I feel like maybe I need one. But let me know what you guys think. Um, but yeah, I've pretty much figured out what I'm gonna do setup-wise in regards to when I'm filming like proper makeup looks and stuff, if that's stuff that you guys would like to see me film again because I always get a lot of DMs and stuff from people saying that they miss that um, kind of stuff, like that content, mostly makeup vids. The unfortunate thing is in my second bedroom, it's very large, but I basically use it as a walk-in wardrobe. So it's filled with clothes on both sides that you can kind of see they're visible, probably in shot, which is annoying because aesthetically it's not that, it's not that cute, but um wow this is a real double chin angle um yeah aesthetically it's not that cute but you know what's the girl to do i've just got so many clothes it's ridiculous and i always try and get rid of them and i still end up with the same amount don't know if any of you guys have that issue but uh but yeah i'm gonna try and make it work i'm gonna try and make it look as presentable as possible given the situation but we will see we will see but yeah, I'm impressed with this camera so far. I bought myself a Canon, a little Canon compact camera because I have a big DSLR that I shoot all of my work photos on. And I tried to vlog on that and it was just way too heavy. Like I've got skinny little twig arms anyway. <laughs> and I was there like trying to hold this massive camera like hell no. Your girl does not go to the gym, so. Wow, it's so bright. Um, But yeah, I'm just in my bedroom at the minute. Look at my lovely big mirror. If anybody's wondering where this mirror is, it's from William Wood Mirrors. I've got two and they're literally amazing. Not sponsored by the way, guys, just, just saying if any guys, any of you guys are wondering. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, I don't know what any of you guys have been doing during lockdown, but I invested in a little Nintendo Lite, um, handheld little Nintendo Lite, and I was like playing Pokemon and Spyro, and I think I'm gonna buy a Zelda. Um, so I've been reliving my childhood. I've been loving life. Uh, what else have I been doing? Not a lot. So that's also why I've decided to start filming again because it gives me something to do that's creative and I kind of missed it. Look at the state of my nails and obviously my hands are tattooed. So I just look like, I look like a geezer. Like I've got proper geezer hands. <laughs> it's so jokes because this camera makes you look really pale really pale like i promise i'm not this fair as well guys <laughs> i've still been putting fake tan on just to make me make me feel like um still alive because otherwise i just have a meltdown i think but um yeah i'm gonna cook some food in a second because my lovely boyfriend ali is hungry still even though i've already made him a bagel he's still hungry pig and i'm gonna introduce you to leo my little pomeranian <laughs> who is the best ever. He's literally the light of my life. In fact, one sec. So this is Leo, he's my little Pomeranian. He's now five, six months old. He's actually so weird because he was born on his birth certificate. I found out he was born the day after me. So, so cute. Like we have the same, well, pretty much the same birthday. Are you hiding? Are you going shy? Oh, he literally breaks my heart. He's just the cutest little teddy bear ever. I call him Pom Bear, like the crisps. But yeah, so what was I going to say? So yeah, Leo is now five, six months old. He is 
um, house trained and I can't get him to go outside. So I might just have to accept because we don't have a garden and obviously with lockdown, it's been hard anyway. Um, only having not as much exercise and stuff to to train him and take him out and stuff. But I've done my best, but I feel like he's just gonna pee in the house forever now. <laughs> Why are you so cute though? Look how hairy my nostrils are, wow. So, oh, so not cute. Hello. Why are you so beautiful? You're just the beautifulest, beautifulest baby ever. They don't need a lot of exercise because they're so weeny. Like he was literally tiny. He was one out of a litter of four. Um, and he, the smallest one out of the litter, his littlest brother died, which is really, really sad. And he was the next smallest one. Um, and he was kind of getting bullied by his brothers, weren't you? He was getting battered. So I was originally gonna get a, um, a white Pomeranian. Um, but he was actually, I oddly, I didn't feel like I bonded with him much, but he was getting battered and I felt so sorry for him. So I was like, I'm just gonna get the puppy that we need to save, to be honest. He's teething at the minute. So he's just chewing on my finger. I don't know why he's so shy. He has moments where he's like super shy and chilled. And then the next minute he's running around the house like an absolute lunatic. It's so funny to watch. I'll record it one time so you guys can see. Um, but yeah, so we chose him and I uh, like he settled in really quick, which was really good because he cried all the way home. Um, didn't you? He was so sad. But then he settled in really quick and you need a hairbrush today. I'm sorry, dude. You look like you've, um, you look like you've been dragged for a hedge backwards. Give me a kiss. So that's that. That's Leo. Maybe I'll catch him at a more lively time. He's really sleepy today. So, um, yeah, he's hiding because he's shy. So this is my little Nintendo that I bought. Got it in yellow. And then I've got Spyro and Pokemon. I've completed this feel so sad i think i completed it in like three days and then this um it's like three games in one and i'm part of the way through but loving that literally this investment was great and you can like go on there and you can buy games online which is really cool but yeah i'm like a big kid literally like a big kid so yeah, I'm just in my um, second spare room and this is my desk. I'm just going to show you what I'm going to use to film on and do makeup and stuff. Um, it is a mess in here at the minute, so yeah. But this is my vanity table and my lights and stuff. And then I've got a bit of photography stuff there. And as you can see, like it's a walk-in wardrobe. So these are all my clothes and stuff, which is a bit annoying. But... I'm just gonna have to roll with it at the minute i've got all of this on the floor because that is all my work stuff which i have to shoot for instagram so yeah hey aren't you the cutest thing ever hello what you been doing precious so i'm just <laughs> He's coming to walk, but Ali's walking Leo behind me. He doesn't really want to be in the video, so. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Are you ready for your walks? Come on then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this way. Come on. He trots, doesn't he? Come on. Oh, there's a cat there as well. Oh, he's scared of cats. <laughs> Hello. 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 Are you okay? The cat was just going to come, but I think he might change his mind now. <laughs> it's okay. We saw a cat the other day and he was petrified. The cat was bigger than he was. <laughs> he's gorgeous. He's tiny. Is he cat? Yeah, yeah, he's six, six months. months. Oh. <laughs> it's a really slow zoom though. Oh. Oh, the screw is off. I don't know whether to put this on a 
pole rather than hold it then it's not really a vlog is it if i'm not holding the camera right if my arm falls off i'm going to put this on a stand not a pole a bloody stand anyway guys yesterday wasn't that interesting today is day two of my vlog um it's quite late in the day now to be honest it's like four o'clock five o'clock sorry um i had a lay in today because i get up pretty much early every single morning with um leo so he had a tiny bit of a lay in and i had a little bit of a lay in because i was so tired like honestly and i feel so much better for it so yeah there is that i thought i would show you a couple of products that i bought recently um skincare hair care that kind of jazz because otherwise this um vlog might not be that interesting because i'm not really doing that much obviously with what's going on um so yeah i just thought i'd go through some hair care products that i've used now for a really long time this is not sponsored these are these are things that i buy myself um so yeah um and i love them so i thought i'd just show you a couple of bits because i did a little thing on my instagram story and a couple of you guys really enjoyed it just going through a lot of the makeup products that i use and yeah hair, hair care i haven't really done i don't think so um and i think that's really important to really buy good products for your hair because it makes such a difference um so yeah anyway Okay guys, the light's a bit wild, so if it's going like light and dark, it's because the sun keeps coming in and then going away. Um, so first of all, I'm going to show you the shampoo that I'm obsessed with. I'm absolutely in love with it. I've used it now for a really long time. And I flipped between um, Redken Extreme Shampoo and the All Soft Shampoo, just to change it up a bit because I feel like sometimes your hair gets a bit too used to the same products. So this is a Redken Shampoo that I use. This is the 500 milliliter one you can get a smaller version and i buy all of my hair products and stuff or feel unique and look fantastic because i feel like they have everything imaginable which is great um and all like luxury hair products so um i feel like redken is an amazing brand anyway and the stuff isn't mad expensive it's somewhere between like expensive and not expensive if that makes sense i don't use ever any hair products from like the supermarket as such like tresemme or pantene or any of those brands that are really bad for your hair so if you're using them um then i suggest you try something a little bit better for your hair um and i really recommend this it's good for damaged hair and if your hair needs some protein um if your hair's already got a lot of protein in it uh you might not want to use this one as such maybe the all soft would be a bit better because it's more of a moisturizing shampoo rather than one for like damaged hair i had blonde hair and i've gone back dark again because i'm a nightmare i've colored my hair to and from light to dark so many times now i'm surprised it's still attached to my head but it's because i use good products my hair is still in really good condition to be honest fortunately because otherwise i would be bald but yeah, this is amazing and it always makes my hair feel so soft. It's got an also a matching conditioner that you can buy. So, so next product I'm going to show you, is, it's actually really wet because I've just brought out the shower, but um, is the conditioner that I use. This is also 500 mils because I buy stuff online. I feel like it runs out really quickly if I buy the small versions. And it always works out a bit cheaper if you buy the bigger ones anyway. So this is the Weller Colour Motion Structure Mask and this is actually a um a conditioner but it's actually a hair mask but i use it as a conditioner um because i find it weird to put in conditioner and then a ha hair mask to be honest i don't feel like you need to do both as such because the hair mask is more of something that fixes the hair from the inside rather than just smooths the cuticle down and makes your hair look nice but doesn't actually do much structural wise this weller mask right has Wellerplex in it which is Weller's version of Olaplex um and I'd never even heard of Wellerplex but my hairdresser said that it's really really good she actually prefers it to Olaplex um treatment wise but it's good that they make it in the form of a mask so you can just put it in your hair rather than do the whole sort of Olaplex treatment I also do do that sometimes as well if any of you haven't heard of Olaplex it's basically 
um, a treatment that you can put in your hair. There's three stages, there's one, two, and three. One and two are the salon treatments that you would go to the salon and have professionally done, and three you can use at home. You leave it in for like 20 minutes or you can sleep in it, but the maximum time um, wise that you would leave it in for with it stopping working is about 45 minutes. So you don't really need to leave it in any longer than that. Um, but yeah, this is Weller's version of that in a deep conditioner, which is really good. And I've started using this and I really like it, but I always use Weller conditioners. I find them really nice. Redken do really nice conditioners and they're also very light. So the version of the Redken shampoo that I showed you, um, their conditioner version, the Extreme, um, is also really nice because if you've got quite fine hair and you feel like conditioners weigh down your hair, so maybe you wouldn't want to use a mask, um, their version of conditioner is also really good and I do use that sometimes as well but I prefer the masks because my hair can get quite dry sometimes and I feel like it really helps. So next products are products that I put in my hair when it's wet. So um, first of all I've got a heat protection which is um, as you can see there's literally not pretty much next to nothing left now. This is by Bumble and Bumble and it's a hairdresser's invisible oil and it's a heat UV project protection primer and it's so lovely honestly guys it's really really nice um it is it, it is pricey i'm not gonna lie but um all of their products are quite pricey but they're really really worth the money in my opinion um this bottle lasted has lasted me like for forever wow that light is not cute all of the light keeps reflecting off i've got a mirrored dressing table and it keeps reflecting and then hitting me in the face because I've moved my Hollywood mirror today so that I can have a bit more natural light because it blocks out the windows. So, I mean, I don't know what's going on with the weather. But anyway, so yeah, this is really lovely. You just spray this in your hair when it's damp and it protects your hair against heat. Um, it's really nice, really moisturising. It makes your hair not feel too heavy and you only need a little bit, like a little bit. This goes a long way. You don't need to spray loads of this stuff in. I also use another product from a brand called Kerastase. Um, you might have heard of them. And this is the Serum Therapist. And this is for damaged hair. So they have different levels of erosion in their products that they make. So there's one, two, three, and four. This is for damage level um, three to four, but you can still use it if your hair's not damaged. It's not gonna harm your hair. Um, but as I said, because I was blonde before and then I've gone back dark, I needed products that were going to help my hair, like the structure of my hair, and get it stronger. And this is really good for that. And I've seen a lot of people, since I bought this, put it on their story and say that they really liked it too. So it's basically a serum. You can't really see, but there's two sides of it. It's split in half. And a light side comes out and then a clear side comes out. So it's two separate things that mix together, basically. And you put it in your hair when it's damp. <clears throat> I know that some people put it in their hair when it's dry, but I personally wouldn't do that. I put this in my hair when it's wet. I don't feel like my hair is great when I put loads of different um, products in it after. If I put too many in, my hair seems to get really like greasy as though I'd not washed out my conditioner. So I tend to stick to one um, or do a tiny bit of both rather than loads of both. But if your hair's quite porous and it soaks it all up, and you don't notice it then go for it chuck loads in so next i thought i'd talk about what tan i use because i get this question all the time and i've always religiously used loving tan for the last few years i've tried a lot of tans i've tr tried bondi sands and quite a few other brands and bondi sands actually m gives me like a rash a reaction so i can't i can't use it and i find that the color of loving tan is much nicer for my complexion personally i find bondi sands very green too olive for me so loving tan is a lot more um red undertoned which sounds really odd but it's actually really nice um to me it looks a lot more natural and i use the ultra dark because i like to be very dark but they do do lighter shades of this and they do do a gradual tan They've got loads of stuff in their range, but I absolutely love this tan. It is the best tan ever. Um, and once a week I apply my tan and I get in the bath, I use a tan remover. 
put it in my bath, soak in the bath for 20 minutes and yeah, scrub it off with some exfoliating gloves. Maybe I can do a fake tan routine. I did do one a while before, but as I say, I deleted everything from my channel. So I removed, I removed that video, but maybe I could do an updated one somehow. Um, also in regards to instant tan, say for example, um, it's maybe like midweek and I just want a little bit more colour because I feel like my tan sort of sticks on some areas but then comes off in other areas like on my chest and my neck. I like to always match my foundation and sometimes like halfway through the week my tan started to come off a little bit. So I actually use a St. Marie's dark tan and this isn't a spray can bottle. It's super cheap. It doesn't smell amazing but it's just an instant tan. I, th I don't know if it is going to be instant. I think pe some people actually leave it on and it actually gives you colour if that makes sense so permanent not permanent but do you know what I mean if you were to wash it off it would leave some colour but I just use it as an instant tan just to top up my tan if my tan's kind of like coming off um yeah if my tan's coming off and I just want to look a little bit darker and it's a really nice colour and it just dries so quickly, so I find that super handy if you want to chuck on a top. I've got it on now and I'm wearing white, so that says it all to be honest. And it doesn't transfer and go everywhere and isn't super sticky. It's just really quick drying and easy to use. Um, so yeah, that's some of the products that I love. And um, also I use the Loving Tan mitt which is just a i used to hate these mitts it's really weird i didn't ever like these ones i like the almost like cheap mitts that were i don't know how to explain them to be honest like polystyrene -y. and then i started using these and it, they they're just amazing they're so nice and they're so soft so i really recommend them so i'm also going to tell you guys which makeup palette i've been loving i forgot that i even had this palette to be honest i bought it and never really used it and then the last few months, all I have used is this, and it's the Tartus Pro um, palette. And it's made with Amazonian clay, and it smells unreal. It smells like vanilla. This is also not sponsored. These are things that I have bought myself. And these are the colours. I find it really handy because it's got browns and oranges in and golds. And very neutral colours. And I feel like most of them are very wearable. I really don't like it when you've spent loads of money Um on a makeup palette and then you can only use a couple of the colours, it's a bit annoying. This this palette's really good, it's really pigmented and yeah, it smells amazing and I find it really easy to use to blend out my makeup. Sometimes when you buy eyeshadows they're not very easy to blend out, so I feel like that's really handy because it's, it, it shows up the colour really well but it also blends out really well as well. I'm just going to show you a couple of my skincare products that I've bought. Some of which I've already used in the past and I've repurchased because I like them. And some of them are new. So first of all, I'm going to show you this. And it's by a brand called La roche Posay. <laughs> I don't think I'm saying it right, to be honest. But this is like almost a serum slash moisturiser. But it helps with blemishes and imperfections. So if you've got a breakout and your skin's been a bit wild like mine, um, this is really good for that and I find that moisturizers make me break out quite a lot so and this doesn't so it's really good and this is probably like my fourth bottle of this I use it I've used it for years and I really like it I also really like this brand they're amazing they're a French brand and they make so many nice um skincare products and they're not mad pricey either so that's that's also a benefit a bonus whatever you want to call it so this is the moisturiser I do use and as I said I don't really like moisturisers that much because I find that they make me break out. My skin's so weird. So I tend to go for moisturisers that are a bit more serum like or serums because I find them lighter and better for my skin. But this is the Vici um, Aquathermal Moisturiser and I know that they do a light version of this and a deep version of it like a stronger version of it this is just the normal one and i've bought this before and i really liked it so i repurchased it i used to use a um a moisturizer by elemis which was the pro collagen marine cream and i was obsessed with it it was amazing it smelled so good but it's like 80 pounds which i think when it comes to skincare is definitely worth the money but at the moment i feel like that's a lot 
I'd probably rather buy a pair of trainers, <laughs> even though I've got a million pairs of trainers already. So yeah, so that's like, a cheaper version by Vici, the brand is called, that I think is also very good and not as punchy price wise. So next is this product by The Ordinary. I've got loads of their stuff actually. I'm not gonna show you them all because some of them are on the way that I've just ordered and then um, I just thought I'd show you this particular one because I'm really bad with like using stuff around my eyes. Like I always forget to use eye creams and this is basically a serum which you put around your eye area and it's got caffeine in it and it reduces the appearance of eye contour pigmentation and puffiness which is great uh these are relatively cheap products actually which is very impressive because they're raved about quite a lot i think this was six pounds which is mad um but their products range between that sort of price to 20 pounds but most of them are under £10 which is amazing and they're very good um I've used the acid pill before unfortunately I smashed it after one use and now it's completely sold out you can't find it anywhere which is really damn annoying but it was really good but yeah I put a couple of drops on this of this I'm speaking so fast um a couple of drops of this around the eye area am to pm morning and afternoon or just in the evening when you've taken your makeup off I don't know whatever suits you best and um yeah it's really nice and it just helps with the things that it says that it does basically so thank you so much for watching guys i really hope you enjoyed the vlog i'm sorry it wasn't the most interesting thing in the world but hopefully next time we can make something a little bit more interesting maybe you won't be as strict with lockdown situation um but if you haven't already go and follow me on instagram um or twitter it's itslauren.com um but thank you so much for watching i look forward to reading all your comments and your opinions and any constructive criticism that you you might have but i hope you're all keeping safe and well i love you all lots